Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of America has shown that exercising in a particular way has scientifically proven benefits for older individuals. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study out of America has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by the University of Missouri looking into a study that was published in Human Kinetics Journals which investigated the effects that a specific type of exercise had on older individuals. And there are links in the description below to the studies and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. Older adults are challenged with age-related declines in skeletal muscle mass, known as sarcopenia, muscle function, and as a result, mobility. Although exercise interventions of longer duration typically yield larger changes, short-term interventions may kickstart positive effects, allowing participants to begin engaging in more activity. Doing this in a supportive group setting may also be more likely to allow long-term habits to actually form. Stephen Ball, a professor of physical therapy at the University of Missouri, has dedicated his career to improving the health of older people through exercise. He launched the University of Missouri's Stay Strong, Stay Healthy strength training program, which has reached more than 20,000 older adults since its inception in 2005. For years, Professor Ball had anecdotally heard about the physical and mental health benefits that the older adults had experienced from the eight week strength training program. But now there is scientific proof. According to a recent research study, adults over the age of 60 who participated in the group exercise program experienced improved muscle strength and flexibility, balance and coordination, sleep quality and overall self-confidence to increase physical activity, all while reducing the risk of falling and the expense of medical bills that would normally follow. Stephen Ball, a professor in the School of Health Professions at Missouri University and a Missouri State Fitness Specialist with the MU Extension said, this program embodies what MU is all about as a land grant university. We give undergraduates valuable hands-on experience in teaching exercise, conduct life-changing research in the lab, and then with our partnerships through MU Extension, we go out into rural communities and implement the research to improve the health of everyday people. In the study, Professor Ball collaborated with the Missouri Orthopedic Institute to evaluate the effectiveness of the Stay Strong, Stay Healthy strength training program in a group setting among adults over the age of 60. Participants in the instructor-led courses were taught how to safely complete strength training exercises including squats and bicep curls. The sessions lasted for one hour and were held twice a week for eight weeks in total. Tests for strength, balance and flexibility were conducted before and after the program. The study found that the participants improved not only their physical health outcomes, but also their self-confidence in their ability to participate in exercise. This in turn, increased physical activity in their daily lives and reduced their risk of falls, which is a major concern for aging adults. Professor Ball stated, we help older adults maintain their independence as they age and reduce their risk of falling, which has huge financial implications as well as health implications. We keep hearing from participants that in addition to feeling stronger, healthier and more active, Another major reason they enjoy the group classes is the social aspect of making friends with others their age and engaging with community members in a stress-free environment. For his undergraduate teaching and extension work, Professor Ball earned a William T. Kemper Fellowship from Missouri University in 2012. And with more than a dozen peer-reviewed studies highlighting the efficacy of the Stay Strong, Stay Healthy program since 2005, it has now been approved by the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. 
The program is now implemented by the MU Extension faculty in Missouri and through MU trained facilitators in Oklahoma, Tennessee, Kansas, North Carolina, and Nevada. Professor Ball closed by saying, I have heard from participants that the program saved their life and it's very rewarding to be serving our community members and also improving their health. But what if you want to start something like this, but you don't live in Missouri, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Kansas, North Carolina, or even Nevada? Maybe check out your local CrossFit gym, classes specifically for seniors, and those interested in longevity are now thankfully on the rise. My name is Mike Suodonik. Uh, I'm a coach at CrossFit Instinct, Springfield, Illinois. I myself, I'm 72 years old, coaching for about five years. I focus on what we call our longevity program, typically somebody 50, 55 years old and older, all the way up to we've had a gentleman that's now 80, 89 years old. They're seeing what's ahead, and they're smart enough to know that if they don't do something soon, their quality of life is going to decrease significantly, and they don't want that. They don't want to be dependent. They want to be independent. And they're really not interested in more medication, they're interested in less medication. The majority of them are pretty fearful and uh, insecure when they come. But they got a lot of guts walking in the door and saying, I want to change. Change is very difficult, very difficult for these people. And why it's so difficult, they got this past. And my job is to get them to let that past just die and learn to trust me to bring you into the unknown. Once you start grasping that and getting into the unknown, something you don't know something about, and you just make baby steps into that area, you start changing yourself, not only in here physically, but psychologically, spiritually. Because the number one thing that's important to them in their life is their health. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I've made some notes. Some people do like to train alone. Some people prefer to be in a group setting. I'm quite happy with both, but what I have found is I do perform a lot better. I work a lot harder when I'm part of a CrossFit uh, session. Um, I'd be interested to know, do you prefer to take part in a group session or do you like to train alone? Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. As always, please take care, stay safe until we meet again. Bye for now.